Hey guys, it's Zeta Explosion. Welcome to the second bonus episode of my, of my, well not really much of a let's play, but I'm just going to call it let's play, a Pokemon Soul Silver ba of Soul Silver Battles. Why can I not talk? Alright, anyways, in the last bonus episode, we got the right cool encounter. Alright, now in this episode, this is about um good training spots. All right, so let's start. All right, so now before I begin, though, some things I want to tell you. My soul silver got restarted. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so, but I was able to actually speed through, so. Yeah, so I'm going to show you my new team now. Sack the Togetic, level 44, with the moves of Fly, Extrasensory, Metronome, and Hyper Beam. Midnight, the Embryon, level 42, with the moves Tulip, Quick Attack, Fan Attack, and Dark Pulse. I still got my Lapras, but it's a male, Nick named it Blue. And this time has the ability Water Absorb. Yep. With the moves Brine, Ice Beam, Surf, and Psychic. So at the same starter, but nicknamed him differently. Tony the Blaze. I mean, Tony, Tony the Typhlosion. Level 45 with the moves Switch, Strength. I'm gonna get rid of Strength and probably replace for Earthquake. With. Blast Burn and Flanker. Drago the Dra the Dragonair, level 32, still in training. With the moves Extreme Speed, Agility, Waterfall, and Dragon Rage. And now, for, for another new member, Alex the Ampharos. With the moves Signal Beam, Flash, Discharge, and Thunder Wave. So, yeah. Alright, now for the training part. Wait a second. Now, there are two, there are three good methods of training. One of them is Victory Road. Now, Victory Road has some pretty good Pokemon. Now, if I could just get run into one. Um, but here's the thing. Yeah, they're rock types, so the following types Flying, on, flying, fire, and electric types are horrible here. Or anything weak to, or anything weak to ground and rock types. So wait, what was that? What was that? That was really. Dang. This turned off for a split spec second and then went back on. Anyways, yeah, get there. And you might even find an Earth Searing if you want another member. So, yeah. Um, the second get best method is, and to me, it's the method that I've been using. On flies to the Safari Gate Zone. Boy, my Togetic! Alright. On. Now, if you follow this direction, um, it'll lead you to the probably the best place for training for the po for the Pokemon League. Darn it. Uh, whatever. The shop. Okay, go on. I'm gonna put him, put up some appels. Go on. Here we go. Alright, continuing on.
uh, if you follow the direction I'm going, I'm going, like I just said earlier, I don't know why I'm saying it again now, it's probably the best place for training. Alright, now, this, now, you have to have a Pokemon that knows Waterfall to do this. Alright, come over here, you'll find this hidden patch of grass. I said the pawn, but anyways, this patch of grass right here has really, really strong Pokemon, like, you may, if you run into a level 35 mil tank, defeat it, you get 1,000 EXP, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Pretty good place for training. I can just run out of repel. Ah, whatever. And now for the third method. Rematches. Yeah. If you're lucky enough to for a trainer to wanna have a bow with you, do that. Sorry for Miss Angle of Camera. I'm just gonna hear you. So yeah. So in the next episode of Pokemon SS Battles. We will be facing our first Elite Four. Will. Or shall I say William? Ah, whatever. I'll just call him Will. Alright. See ya. Then.